Chris. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for having me back. Ed. Yeah, it's good to have you back. So what have you been up to this week? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> All right. So this is uh, Q&A video number three. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're going to start off with some quite I just have a list of on-trail thoughts. People ask us about what was going on the trail. So okay. the first question from Upside Down Orange Juice again. Okay. Why did you and Richie decide to walk together in the first place? Yeah, good question. I'm How interested people in people are just drawn to other houses. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't really know. We were just, I think we covered a little bit, but we just have such similar styles. Yeah. Initially, we both didn't want to skip uh, up to Broadwood. Right. I think that's how it kind of started. Yeah. So again, walking with my buddy today. Say hello, everybody. Hello. And Richie, the amazing guy who walked 45 kilometers the first day. One of the very few to have done it. So I'm gonna be grabbing onto the back of his backpack and let him drag me all the way today. <laughs> what do you think? Gonna be I, all right? I doubt it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Both didn't want to skip that. Both wanted to walk it. And these are roads, so it's kind of safety in numbers. Yeah. And we just, I mean, we both got up early the next day. And we just, yeah. I think we're just similar. Yeah, I don't, uh, that was day six. I don't think, I, I can't remember you and I at all. This is the thing. We're gonna yeah. be walking together forever. It's just, yeah, it was good to Broadwoods together. Yeah. And then for Broadwoods, oh, yeah, let's go to the valley together. And then, and then there were there was a, a two days, a one day where we didn't walk together. You took the kayak. Yeah. And I went across over to the, I took the ferry across, yeah. and we walked separately there. I think we're day, day two, two, three, or six as well. Um, yeah, yeah. And in the morning, I think that's when we officially started hiking together. Was pretty much after three oh six, and then I stopped for lunch, and then you caught up, and and then we had lunch together, and then Anthony and Tasha caught up, and I yeah. think that was the day we all four officially really started hiking together. Pretty much every that was day. Like your longest that. dinner break you ever had. It was. It was. <laughs> like, oh, oh, here comes one more person. Oh, no, here comes the yeah. So yeah, yeah. But that was a hot day too, and I did not mind the rest of it. So yeah, it was kind of, and, and then why we stayed together is because we did have such similar hiking stops. Mm. We really did. Yeah. Just worked well. All right. Um, Rasmus Gildegard, I probably pronounced that incorrectly. Sorry about that. How do the two islands compare? They're almost easier. North was easier. Yeah, and yeah. you're just in a lot more civilization. Yeah. And it feels like you, you're building up to do a hard day rather than in South Island, you're building up to have a nice, easy day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the North Island, you have five days of flats and then one day of mountains. South yeah. Island is five days of mountains and one day of flat. Yeah. If you're lucky. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. And, and we we kept talking all the time to North Island because there's so much planning and logistics as far as like where you're going to stay and trail angels and the canoes and and just so much logistics. We kept saying, I can't wait to get to South Island. We don't have to plan. We just walk, get up and walk as far as we want. And there was more planning, I think, on the South Island. Yeah. yeah. But that was more because of the weather. The weather. Yeah. The weather was just the, the yeah. big thing. Because the weather on the North Island didn't really affect you that much. You just got wet. Yeah. But on the South Island, you had mountain passes, you had rivers. And yeah. so there was a lot more planning and organizing on the South mm -hmm. Island. Yeah. Yeah. Again, we got really lucky, though. We did, we did, we yeah. really did. But if, if it just had a distress of what if, yeah, a lot of the time, yeah, with South Island, yeah, obviously more road walking in the North Island, mm. um, yeah, didn't like it whilst we were doing it, and I missed it in the South Island. Yeah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> very much, yeah. Uh, like a hike, ask question: How do you stay motivated after a few weeks or months of hiking? Hmm. Uh, I think it's just what we kept saying when we just kept picturing what it's going to be like yeah. to finish. Yeah. Um, and that kind of kept us going a lot. Yeah. I had at the bottom of that page with the reasons why I was hiking, at the very bottom I had written, imagine how good this is going to feel when you're finished. Mm -hmm. And I had to look at that a couple of times. Um, yeah, it, but um, what helped me stay motivated is I, I, I would look at that distance, but that wasn't so helpful as much as just get to the end of the day. Yeah. Or if it was a long day, like if there's a hut or there's a lunch break, yeah. just focus on, I only got seven kilometers to lunch. And then after lunch, okay, now I've only got 15 more kilometers till we get this. So I would kind yeah. of break it up instead of saying, I gotta get to Bluff. It'd be like, I gotta get this next five kilometers. Yeah. 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 Um, did you ever just want to give up? 
Sometimes. <laughs> I think everyone has like a little bit where they get a little bit sad. Yeah. Just, it just gets a lot. Yeah. But we, yeah, hopefully you keep each other together. Yeah, we do. We do. Yeah. We, 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 um, we would talk about it. Say, do you want to give up? And say, no, I can't quit now. I can't yeah. quit. But we did laugh about one time. I think I said to you, I said, you know, I don't want to quit. But I wouldn't mind if I fell down and broke my ankle right yeah. now. And you said, yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah. And then we found so many people thought the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like everybody wanted an injury that would get them an out. You yeah. know? But not a serious injury. Yeah. You know, just like a broken ankle, you know, twisted knee, something that would keep you out. But then there was a girl who did break her ankle, and then she healed and then continued on the hike. So that kind of took that excuse yeah. away, too. Yeah, so, yeah. But, yeah. But, uh, but I did ask that one hunt, what keeps you going? That was like middle of the South Island and basically it was just that stubbornness. Yeah. You know, I started, I got to continue now, I can't quit. I mean, this is kind of a crazy thing that we're doing, this hiking. What is it that keeps us doing it? So can I ask some folks who, who would like to answer that question? What is it that keeps you doing the TA or, or your section hiking? What, what is it that keeps you doing this? <laughs> Love being in the outdoors. Yeah. Love being in the outdoors? I'm stubborn. <laughs> Determination. Yeah? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mixed with enjoying being in the outdoors. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Number two. Number yeah. I would say the landscapes, and we are now so close to the end, so it would be a shame to not finish it. Oh, absolutely, right? You know, it's like, I'll crawl from here if I have to. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anybody else? Tim, what, you've been doing this. What, what keeps you doing this thing? I started and I have to finish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of stubborn people. There's a lot of stubborn people on the trail. A lot of stubborn people on the trail. Yeah, I think we both had that, too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, sometimes it can get overwhelming. Yeah. I would think a little bit too far ahead. Yeah. Especially in the Richmonds. That was oh, yeah. such a long time. Yeah, that was a long time, yeah. And I think once you get to the hot, you kind of... I liked the aspect of how we were living. Yes. I think you kind of reminded of the good things at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sir Nam Combrink or Sir Anna Combrink, did you ever feel like it's too much peopling? <laughs> um, does it get too much sometimes? You know, it's like with the trail gaining popular, there's a lot of people on the trail. Does yeah. it get too much? Richmond's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Richmond's oh, were too much. They were. They were. Oh. Every night was full. Yeah, every night the huts were full, and there were a lot of tents outside, and they were tenting on some pretty bad land. Um, Richie and I were always the first ones out of the hut, the first ones to the hut the next day. And we, we would say, we're not racing for a bed, but we really yeah, were. Yeah, every we day. Really <laughs> were, yeah. Um, and we pushed ourselves pretty fast and we get in and we usually got in like about an hour to three hours more than it, earlier than anybody else. We're like, let's slow down tomorrow. Yeah, okay, let's not, let's not rush for a bed. Let's, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was only in the evenings that you would find a lot of people. Yeah. During the day, it wasn't like the trail was crowded. No. You might see a couple people during the day, but for the most part. Yeah, I can't really think of too many instances. No. Maybe we were chock a block on the. Yeah. No. The only time I really ran into too many people was the day we were on the root burn track. And there was that gi oh, yeah. couple of gigantic groups yeah. there. Yeah, the total group. I was having a bad day that day, and that just made it worse. <laughs> it was like, Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, trail-wise, it wasn't too pop, no. too crowded. No, no it's just it everyone makes. cooks at the same time. Yeah. That's one of the problems yeah. with the huts. Everyone cooks at six o'clock or five thirty. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's yeah. when I had dinner twice. Yes, yeah. yeah. Right, and getting out of bed. Too many people. Walk on part in a war. Oh, hmm. I wonder if they were in a movie. Yeah. Walk on park in a war. Walk on part. Walk oh. on part in a Walk war. On part. That's the trip. That's the, that's, that's the username. Interesting. I'd like to know the story behind that one. Yeah. After walking with the same people for so long, how do you find the long hours together every day? Oh, wow. Well, okay, you know, Richie, let's hear the same Sometimes you thing. find one person that you just don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes we had, need a little bit of space. But we're quite quiet. Yeah. I don't think we yeah. ever spoke too much or yeah. got on each other's nerves too much. And if we did, there's plenty of... There's a lot of space. There's a lot of space. Yeah. Yeah. Um, along boring days, we listen to our audiobooks. Yeah. 
I remember when we were on the canoes and I think we were both just so nervous. We just talked yes. nine hours straight. And I remember Juliet saying, like, what are you guys still talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nothing. We were, we were talking, talking about nothing. nothing. Shrek 1 and 2 most yes, of the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shrek 1 is a much better movie, by the way. Shrek 2 is better. <laughs> we're just never going to agree on that one. Yeah, <laughs> a, yeah. a smidge better. Yeah. Um, are there times of awkwardness when one wants to be alone in their thoughts and the other feels talkative? Not so much for us. No, because we're both so. introverted. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, did this ever lead to any conflict? Now, someone did ask me at one point, is there at any point where you have like wanted to not hike with Richie? Like, yeah, well, every day. And you said the same thing. You know, every day, it's like, oh, I walk with Kurt again. But but that's just because you're each other's pockets all day. But we we never we never had a fight, a real bad fight. I we had think so. a couple times that you got miffed at me and I got miffed at you, but we, we hugged it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a long time to get it is. and not at least get stressed with one another. But there's a lot of space out there as well. Yeah. And and a lot of respect. Um, we both had different strengths and different weaknesses, and we let each other be strong and we helped each other in the weaknesses. And I think that really, really yeah. worked well for us. Really worked yeah, well I think for so. us. Yeah. Yeah, I think whenever we did get missed, we didn't really hold it for very long. Yeah. Yeah. Can't. Well, you can't, no. right? You can't. Yeah. And worked out all right. Yeah. The uh, the one who goes by user zi three mo that that whole long one mm -hmm. asked um, there are negative comments about road walking especially in North Island in other posts. What are your thoughts on road walking? You kind of alluded to it in the last video, but what do you th what are your thoughts about road walking? I don't really mind it that much. As it can depends on the road. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mind gravel road walking. It can get really samey, but I we kind of just listen to audio books and yeah. I don't mean you can cover a lot of ground quite quickly. Yeah. Like, that always felt good. That did. But like for the balls to Palmerston when you constantly <laughs> try not to get murdered. Yeah, yeah. I love that day. I was flying you on that were day. Like, I was flying on that day. At one point I had tried to stop and tell you I was stopping, you were just gone. Yeah, yeah. And I just lay on the side of the road. I did, and, and I turned around and I looked, where's Richie? And I saw this little tiny dot laying in the back, literally sitting next to the road. And I'm yeah. like, he'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I did a little break. It's just yeah. soul crushing sometimes. Yeah. But at the same time, like I said, you do miss it. Yeah. In the South Island, because you just you're covering the same distance but twice as long. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. got pros and cons like everything yeah. else. Yeah, I I never really, for the most part, I didn't feel in danger. There there was that one spot somewhere up around oh, Pahoy. Yeah, where it was like two hours or two kilometers, where I felt like we we're in danger of losing our life here because it's such a narrow road and windy and a lot of fast cars. And then, but the worst, the worst road walk for me was the last day going into Bluff. Yeah, that I hated that day. Because <laughs> you have a, you have a footpath next to the road, yeah. but it's on the side of the road where the cars are coming behind you. And, and there were so many trucks so that were flying. Every truck in New Zealand goes to Bluff. Oh my word. Oh my word. That was to me, although it wasn't dangerous, it was just that one. That sucked the life right out. It was. It was yeah. horrible. I can't imagine back in the years before, where that was. You walked that road all the way to the sign. Yeah. Rather than up and around behind the the hill like we did, I'm glad they made that change because that yeah. that was a terrible road. But, walk is but I was the same way. I didn't mind the road walks. A lot of people hitched the roads. A lot yeah. of people hitched the roads. We didn't hitch any of them. We didn't hitch any of them except the one that I had to, which we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, upside out, down orange juice. What was the worst climb? Oh, what was the worst? There were so many. Yeah. <laughs> so, every one that involved going up was the worst climb. Yeah. Oh, I remember going that last day in Taru. Is I was feeling really good, but that, that, I, I think that really sucked. Yeah. For you. Yeah. That was a tough one. I remember which ones you didn't like, but, yeah. I, <laughs> but some of the them... first two days of Taru is were the I think for me were yeah. the hardest. That was right after Christmas. Yeah. Leaving my yeah. wife. Yeah. You know, and it, it, the, it was so muddy. Yeah. And steep. And I had been clean for a week, and now it's just instantly muddy. We had washed our rain jackets, and they were like just demolished right away. They stunk right away. So yeah, um, I think I struggled more on the in, like early on. Prong yeah. As we get, as we get, early, like you know, say we're doing the Richmonds. I struggled the first two days more than the rest, just because it's so early, and it just feels yeah. like there's so much left. I think a lot of the climbs for me were mental. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you're a strong climber. 
Mm. Real strong climber. Yeah. Well, that last day in the Tyrudis, for example, I was just so yeah. excited to finish. So yes. I, I, I oh. felt so good. But the first day in the Tyrudis, well, oh. the first two days, yeah. I couldn't get up the, the yeah. mountain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I think a lot of it was just that. Yeah. What was the worst and most hilarious mud puddle? Oh, it's got to be that big poo lake we walked through. <laughs> At the end. Oh. <laughs> Just before Christmas. Oh, oh, that one. The, oh, oh, yes. Oh, that was the, terrible. I forgot about that one. Like, uh, there was just cat all. That was, was like so, only like ankle deep, but it was uh, warm so and it warm. stunk. Uh, and it was just, yeah, it, it was not, it wasn't water. It was cow pee it was and just poo. awful. Yeah, yeah. that was, that was that yeah. Like water. Yeah, that, I forgot thinking? about that one. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, so much fun. Oh. Oh. Come on! I don't want to skip the mud. Oh, it's all soft and gushy. I think that's the best way. I think so. That's where everybody else is going. Yeah. Oh, that looks disgusting. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. I keep getting caught up by the barbed wire. Oh, it's warm. Oh. Oh. That's got probably more cow poo and pee than anything else in it. Oh, that, uh, that mud we stepped in. That was, oh man, oh, oh, oh. That was not just mud. That smell is not going away. Oh, we, we got to have a river crossing, please. Please. Yeah. Where, where were you thinking of? I was thinking of the big slimy puddle um, in um, Longwood Forest. At, at the end, where it's just like oh, slimy water. Yeah, right at and, the end. But it was cold instead of warm. And I think that's why. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. I'm like, oh, yeah. well, it's cold. It's going to be okay. But yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a slurry. I mean, is this packed? You still gonna get into the mud? So far, I've been able to find the bottom though. Oh, it's so cold. I haven't gone to a bottom this long. It's cold instead of warm. Where is it? I got a bit of cold. That's nice. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, woo! Gotta love this! Yum, yum! Yeah! I think the Canadians have lost it. Yeah. <laughs> so that one was terrible. That loving one. Yeah.